Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile, and in my hands I have an HTC HD7. So, okay, there we go. This we just uh, we just walked through a uh, hardware tour on this bad boy. Uh, quick recap: we've got the big 4.3 inch Super LCD display up here. Oops, that's wrong. And we've got the one gigahertz Snapdragon processor on the inside. It's got Wi-Fi BGN, right? It's got 16 gigs of onboard memory, the five megapixel camera with the dual LED flash, and what else does it have? The dedicated camera shutter button, right? The uh, stereo speaker set up here, the micro USB port, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom as opposed to on the top as we see with the Evo, right? The top on the Evo, bottom on the HD7. So, anyway, so this is the software tour. Let's take a look at the software. Well, the, this is the only HD, this is the only Windows Phone 7 that, uh, the Windows Phone 7 device with the big 4.3 inch uh, touchscreen display, and that makes it a lot easier to use on stuff like, say, the keyboard. And I'm just going to give you a quick little demo here. On, on other, let's see, I want to, let's delete that, con uh, let's not delete that conversation. Let's say, okay, I'm going to create a new text message. So, test, and then I'm going to type my message here. Oops, I misspelled test, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, it's a lot easier to type on this, because the keys are way further apart because of this wide screen, right? Oh, I misspelled into mobile pretty badly there, but I was going pretty fast. But the what I'm trying to show you is that the keyboard is a lot easier to use than on, say, a um, Samsung Focus because the screen is much wider, right? So you're going to get this this uh, typing experience that's a lot better. And of course, we have the standard Windows Phone 7 start screen here. It's got it's preloaded with some apps like Netflix, right? It's like Slacker Radio. What else do we have here? We've got the Family Room app from T-Mobile, the Mobile TV app from T-Mobile. Um, of course, the Games Hub, your Explorer, Internet Explorer, your web browser, your calendar, Pictures Hub, Marketplace, your Music Hub. But also, because this is an HTC phone, it comes with something called the HTC Hub. And basically what the HTC Hub is, is because um, manufacturers aren't allowed to really customize Windows Phone 7 at this point, HTC has kind of put their sense, sort of sense UI into this HTC Hub. And it gives you all these uh, featured apps like Stocks and My Account, all that stuff. And let's say I want to check out the featured apps. Well, these are the featured apps right here. My Account, Stocks, HTC Hub. I can slide over Applications, um, Sound Enhancer. Oh, that's a cool one. Converter. Oh, Photo Enhancer. Actually, that's kind of cool. I'm going to... Uh, let's go to, let's check out, well, we're not going to download any right now, but just want to show you, oh, it comes with these games, too. We've got Bejeweled Live, Sims 3, Uno, pretty cool that it's all preloaded on there. That's the HTC Hub, and of course, if you go back to the start, or not the start screen, but the, the splash screen on the Hub, you get the time and the weather. That's pretty cool, and when you click that, it takes you to, ah, there we go, San Francisco weather. Nice. I haven't added any other spots here, but... It comes preloaded with, let's see, Tokyo. Oh, so the animations are pretty slick. And of course, this is a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, so it does make it pretty cool, uh, pretty pretty smooth, and uh, makes for a really cool uh, user experience. But that's the HTC Hub. And of course, because this is Windows Phone 7, all your social networks are kind of um, integrated, are, are well integrated into the phone. You don't have, there aren't, you don't really need a, a separate Facebook app, even though there is one, uh, a separate Facebook app in the Android, uh, not the Android, but the Windows phone, the marketplace. Notice right here, that is my Facebook update. And it's integrated into the People Sub. And I get all my updates from my Facebook friends, like Chris Ziegler, like Nan Palmero, Noah Kravitz, all my all my friends, their Facebook updates go right into the People's Hub. So if you're looking for you know your you, to call somebody or message somebody, you can go into the People's List right here. And because if you're already looking for some, somebody uh, to talk to, you might also be interested in their Facebook updates, and you can see your own up here. But also going back to the Start screen, you can see your own updates and your own picture uploads and all that cool stuff right here in the What's New in the Me tile, which is basically your Facebook slash um, social network feed for your own updates. See, I voted. And all that good stuff. For your own, your own updates. 
nicely, very well integrated, actually. I could use some Twitter and uh, better Twitter integration, but that's uh, forthcoming, apparently, according to Microsoft. T-Mobile Mobile TV. Just want to give you guys a little bit of a video tour on what this guy does. It's basically mobile TV, right? You get TV on your smartphone, and it comes from T-Mobile. Okay, so we have T-Mobile TV starting up right here. This is a... This is it okay? Focus, focus. There we go. We're going to start the trial. We get 30 days free, and this is what T-Mobile TV looks like. You fire up the interface. There you go. You can kind of slide, swipe to scroll through all your different, um, the featured, the featured shows. You can watch, let's see, live TV. Um, just for the heck of it, let's go to CNBC, see what live performance looks like. This is not over Wi-Fi. This is connected uh, over T-Mobile's 3G um, data connection. Let me raise the volume here. Volume's a little low. I wonder if they're... Yeah, that's... Uh, it's fully turned up. Let's try another live TV, uh, TV channel and see if we can't get that to get any louder here. Let's just... For Disney Channel, for, for our younger viewers out there. Is this Hannah, Hannah Montana? Sweet Hannah Montana. I mean, just kidding. So that's uh, that's that's live. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so there's on demand as well. You saw some of the on demand se selections um, <clears throat> at the splash screen, the kind of the startup screen. Um, let's look at free programs because I'm not gonna buy anything just right now. Um, oh, awesome. Martha speaks. Oh, would you look at that? There you go, that's on-demand performance. On-demand uh, shows kind of fired up real quick, and uh, you know what, the frame rate's actually pretty good. Um, that's mobile TV right also there. Also family room. Not sure what this is, you guys will be seeing this alongside with me for the first time. Enter invite code, what is this thing? Oh, okay, so you can, uh, you can coordinate with your family, you can kind of talk to them on a chalkboard, you know, write and organize uh, calendars and post pictures with your family. Okay, doesn't apply to me, probably won't apply to you either. Um, if you're looking at a Windows Phone 7, I mean, it's possible, but uh, it's a younger generation. It's aimed at a younger generation, so families, maybe not. Um, what else is cool? I'll show you real quick. Ah, so Marketplace, fully functional here at this point, and building out with apps, hundreds by the week at this point. And, of course, you get a, you get a link to HTC apps. We just saw this in the HTC Hub, so kind of the same deal right there. But you slide over, and of course, you're pivoting. It's all about these hubs where you have these panoramic hubs that kind of extend past the screen, right? This marketplace hub is all over here. There's more content, and you just scroll to it. We call it a pivot, right? Microsoft calls it a pivot. And these are all the apps. So you have featured apps here, like the Star Wars game, like the Rocket Riot, Flickster, OpenTable. OpenTable is actually a pretty cool service. Local Concert, oh, local concerts are pretty cool. That's an app that will tell you local concerts and stuff. And you can actually download uh, games and music as well. So you can either download music through the Marketplace. It'll just go to the Zune Marketplace. Or you can access your music through the Music and Videos tile, hub, I should say. And go straight to the Marketplace from here. Notice you end on the same place. Good Charlotte featured artists, new releases, all that jazz. And let's. I'm going to hold down the camera shutter button right here. And it's going to fire up. The camera, yes. I'm going to allow it to use my my location, and we're going to take a picture of the HTC Evo. I know it's kind of blasphemous because this is Windows Phone 7 and that's Android, but the whole point is the Evo is kind of the the uh, spiritual bigger brother of this guy. I'm going to half press to focus, full press to shoot, and it goes off to the side. I'm going to, again, half, let's see if I can, no, it won't focus on different points when you touch it, but half press to focus, full press, oops, I kind of screwed that up. Half press to focus. Come on. Okay, screw it. Oh, there is no half press. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. It just focuses on the fly, like so. And the the pictures you could take really quickly. Notice how fast I'm snapping pictures, real fast. And they're fairly good quality. And oops, I want to check out my pictures. All I got to do is slide to the left. Oh, there are all my pictures. Very very cool, right? Automatically. And if I tap that right there, notice what I did. This is always where you access for more menu settings right here. You just tap those three dots and you get upload to Facebook, share, 
I'm going to upload to Facebook. Actually, never mind. I don't want that picture in Facebook. What am I thinking? But you get the idea there. And because I have those pictures now, when I go into the Pictures Hub, it's going to have those pictures. And that the latest one that I took is kind of my background. And you see how it slides and shows all that good stuff. And what's new, it's looking for uh, pictures from all my friends on Facebook. And that's another uh, example of awesome Facebook integration. You don't need the app because it's all integrated into pictures, into people, into your own me tab. And I'm going to go to all, show this guy, and go here. And there we go. That's, that's, those, are, those are my pictures. And, of course, Slacker Radio. You know, you get, you, get, you get Internet Radio, basically, on demand here. Kind of cool. We won't even get into that, but um, you should definitely check it out when you get the HTC HD7 in your own hands and Telenav, GPS nav, very cool. Slide over to the right, you get all your apps, and what you do is you hold down, oh, it comes preloaded with Office, of course. You pin to start, and it goes right to your start, and you hold down on the tile, and you can actually move it around. And we actually have a pretty extensive, um, pretty extensive Windows Phone 7 review on Into Mobile, so make sure to go check that out. So that's a quick little look at the HTC HD7, a software tour.